Hey you all, this is Prophet Hasnaji. Welcome to Day 3 Exodus, Marching to Victory. So beautiful, in the last two days we saw God heard the groaning of the people, collective cry of the people. And then we saw Moses' mother and sister trusted in God who is faithful for something miracle will happen. It happened. Moses was raised by his own mom as a princess in Pharaoh's palace. Moses' mother was paid for raising his child. Amazing God. Our God is God of exceedingly, abundantly, more than asking, more than we can think or imagine, He can bless us. Always He exceeds. The Lord God is sun and shield. He gives grace and glory. No good thing will He withhold from us. This is what Psalmist in 84, Psalm says, He emptied heaven for us. I love this verse, Romans 8.32. He who spared not his own son, but delivered him for us. How shall he not also with him give us all things? Our God is faithful. Our Father never ever disappoint us. This is the confidence we have in Him. Whatever we ask, ask His children, He shall give us. We are His covenant people. We are His covenant people. Whoever believes in Jesus Christ, He gave us authority to be the sons and daughters of God. This is the confidence. Our hope shall not disappoint us because the Holy Spirit of God is shedding His love in our hearts. We are not going to have deferred hope or hopeless. Beautiful. Welcome to this third day. This key portion that I wanted to take for praying this third day is the end of the chapter. I love this. It is very attractive. We will go over a very quick journey of the story of this third chapter. But the end of the chapter, it is so amazing. People are, God is telling, prophesying, my people will come out of the captivity, not with an empty hand, but with the wealth of Egypt. The silver, gold, clothing, everything, they will get favor with Egyptians. Is it awesome? We are asking release from this captivity. What is oppressing our nation, our lives? The humiliations that we go through for the last one month. But remember that the restoration is not at all equal to failure. The restoration is so many multiple times greater than what we lost. It might be our peace, our joy, our worship, our praise. But God is restoring everything. We are coming out with the gold and silver and every wealth of Egyptians. Let them work hard. Let Biden work hard. Let Kamala Harris work hard. Let Nancy Pelosi work so hard. It's all going to jump over, leap over to the righteous people. We are going to have a beautiful, amazing, river-like peace-filled nation. God is going to drive out all the enemies before our eyes. Our eyes shall see, not the stranger's eyes, because our Redeemer lives. He always gives us victory. He always makes sure that making us to triumph Hallelujah. Praise God. Exodus um, 3, a quick journey. So, a continuation from yesterday, Moses agreed to tend his father-in-law's flock. And when he was tending, carrying his flock at the backside of the desert, he got an encounter with God. The burning bushes. Then he receives the commission to return back to Egypt to lead people back to worship God to the same mountain. The mountain name is called Herob, meaning glowing heat. Some scholars are convinced that Mount Herob and Mount Sinai are the same place. It is not just a mountain, it is the God's dwelling place, God's presence, God's mountain 
that is where it is believed god married israel that is where the law is given that that is the picture and shadow of the hebrew author talks about the first born living church of the redeemed ones the church of the redeemed ones of jesus christ in hebrews 12 you can see a beautiful picture of that church is explained there we can see sinai which is the law era and then after the cross where we are right now you and me are the living church the mediator of the new covenant jesus christ and the blood that speaketh the better things than abel's blood and god the father who is judge of all god is judge of all he is there at the midst of the church angels are there perfected saints spirits are there jesus blood is at the center this is the actually the type and shadow is the herob this is where moses is going to lead his people going to camp with his god's people so the well when we learned the well where he where moses met jethro's daughters the wells in the ancient times it's considered very sacred even very prominent wells they appoint a priest for every well i believe jethro is also was appointed to be the priest of that particular well that's where jethro's daughters came to water their flock they were driven and mistreated by the shepherds driven out and moses intervened and he received because of the favor from jethro he received employment for his future and he received his bride even though that employment is not meaningful that much but moses was 40 years doing the job but god met him amazing 40 years the prince of egypt became reduced to a tendering a flock caring shepherd shepherd in those days are considered so despising job even i read an article it says egyptians for egyptians shepherd job is abomination for them is it beautiful god saw the passion and god is faithful god never forget the one who placed mantle on us he will accomplish beautiful even if you take prophet ezekiel he was so famous and sent to the dry bone valley take elijah he was so famous and comfortable in israel then he was sent to zaribath where a poor widow could feed him take elisha when he received the double fold anointing was it became so famous no he was tested for his faithfulness yeah child of sunanite women and he raised him he revived him how he i mean it always touches how how elisha poured out his life he laid on him mouth upon his mouth and eyes upon his eyes and hands upon the child hands and he revived him god sees even your little faith little strength you are clinging on to jesus name he is opening the door he is your strength coming coming back to the story so that land the hero of the mount that is where moses is going to lead the people arriving at that mountain the angel of god appears to moses when we see that the angel of god is appearing the bush that was fully engulfed with the flaming fire flaming fire the bush is burning but it is not consumed is it awesome the bush that is burning but it is not consumed years later moses will come and witness with his people the entire mountain engulfed with the fiery presence of god till that happen see this in hebrews you can in 12 12th chapter you can read very beautifully this amazing encounter this how glorious fiery this mountain is 
this is the fire i really see the mount zion you want me or the mount zion our america is the mount zion for god this is the fire that zakaria prophet is talking 25 zakaria says for i says the lord will be a fire all around her and i will be the glory in her midst i am i will be a wall of fire around america around his nation israel and her glory in the midst another version says i am to her a declaration of yahweh a wall of fire around i myself will be an encircling rampart of fire of fire who can come against if god is for us god is the protection god is the firewall god is encircling when people are the leaders are playing they are not playing with us they are playing directly with god god is the firewall protection why god took time to talk to moses what about the conversation think about that god wanted our cooperation god can do but god cannot do without our cooperation he wants to help us walk alongside to do the wonders and miracle this part i really god is partnering god is partnering with us ezekiel 22 says i sought for a man who can stand in the gap to repair the wall so they can come before me behalf of the land so that i shall not destroy the land this famous verse we always claim this for praying for the nation if my people who are called by my name if they humble and pray and seek my face i will hear from heaven god always wants our partnership so why god god foretold moses yes pharaoh will give hard time because his heart will be so hard and god says his heart will be hard and why to show god's power might the sovereignty the sovereign power of god can be proved to the world to pharaoh beautiful i love this yes go and brilliantly he will just eventually he will agree and then he will make his heart so hard because then only i can show my power my glory my deliverance my sovereignty it's all happened and also god says that my people will not come out simply they will get favor with the egyptians and they will not go empty handed what is the message today we are coming out of this captivity god is promising us today we are coming out laden with a wealth and heathen for your inheritance inheritance god is going to prove his power god is going to prove his might before pharaoh before the dragon any force every force whatever the occultic forces they are poisoning infesting the day before yesterday i heard i saw i read the news just before a child is born the child can be aborted in the heading of the right full right for a woman yesterday came a news if it is not harm your teenage daughter anyone she can sleep if it is not harming what does harm means what is that means it's nothing nothing what is happening here it doesn't matter how python is showing up why this occultic why this jezebel moment is arising why these many millions of people lost because of the covid if they are convincing the christians covid to be viral we are not going to be convinced amazing see they let the jezebel to do whatever she wants always remember this jezebel and python they yoke with each other two years ago god gave me a very special encounter and released his grace the authority over python 
let me explain that vision very quickly for you before i release the prayer i was before the covid starts i was in father's lap leaning on his bosom it's like a you know flight he was just we are traveling together i was like a little girl i was showing papa daddy god see the long snake so huge big snake one snake can connect the whole city and then father said prophesy torment the tormentor then immediately i got the authority from god i said i torment you tormentor i torment you tormentor suddenly the snake should so vertical still using the tail as the strength all the ground all the thorns wrapped her, wrapped him up that's it god said let's take flight let's go to the different territory let me tell you something the the restricting constricting people of god the prophets of god they are not able to be in rest enemy is wearing them out constricting restricting the anointing the python is activated god is going to bring captivity out of all these python forces dragon forces jezebel forces even right now with agreeing with heaven agreeing with you all i claim this our nation our nation is coming out of the captivity even as a church of god together we are arising against every force of dragon every force of python every force of jezebel atalia they are eradicated they are consumed to ashes nothing shall by any means touch the blessing of america trump will win we are going to reign supreme all this fake news all this fake celebration they are going to be nothing we will seek their name they will not be found they will not be found god is faithful god is going to do awesome thing awesome thing god is going to break every poisonous teeth of dragon break every prideful talks boastful talks of dragon we all will be witnessing we all will be coming out with a gold and silver and all the health and wealth and riches of egyptians amen thank you all god bless you all